Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. I'm down here at the range today to do my 10th ammo test with the CZ457 Varmint MTR chambered in 22 long rifle. When I first started this series, I told you guys that I would test 10 different types of ammunition and then take the top three performers and shoot them off against each other on the same day under the same conditions. So we are at test number 10. So we're about to wrap this thing up. Today I'll be shooting this TCI Standard Velocity. This is a fan favorite, by far the most requested ammunition in this entire series uh, from you guys that are watching. I, I try, I, I don't get to reply to every comment, but I read them all, and this ammo was mentioned many, many times. So here's a look at it. CCI, this is a 500 round pack, but a CCI Standard Velocity 22 long rifle. This is a target grade ammunition. This is not CCI's competition ammunition. That would be the green tag. Rated at 1,070 feet per second. And I've already got a box of these open. I always start with the clean bore. Then I fire 25 rounds of the ammunition that I'm testing to practice with and to also season my bore. So you can see the brass. Maybe you can see it, but the brass slam there, that's from my from my practice session. I'll show you one of these cartridges if I can get the box open here. So that's what that looks like. Just a round nose 22 LR cartridge. I've got high hopes for these. I hope they do well just because that so many of you requested them. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you from my practice session, it didn't look great. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the, the bore is seasoned now and hopefully I'm settled in. Uh, the biggest part of this thing is me. You know, I'm just, just telling you like it is. I, I'm, the, I'm the weakest link in this setup. But that being said, compared to the um, other ammunitions that I've tested, and I, I was the weakest link in all of those as well, uh, it doesn't it doesn't appear like this rifle is going to like this ammo, but I'm going to give it every chance I possibly can. We do have a little breeze today that kicks in. If it, it it'll pick up and gust for a few minutes and then it'll lay back down. Right now it's pretty calm. If the wind picks up while I'm shooting, I'll I'll delay the shot until the wind passes. It's not it's not a real stiff wind, but it's just enough to it, it would cause the groups to open up so if you see any edits in the video any jump cuts uh, that's me cutting out a long period where i waited before i took another shot uh, hopefully you want if i can edit it right you won't even be able to tell it but just letting you know so i'm going to get a target put up i'm going to get the chronograph put up and we will get started with this test all right i am ready to get started
Well, I'll go grab that target and get the groups measured. Okay, so I went up, ate some lunch, took my time, measured this target. But before we look at the target, I want to let you guys know I've really enjoyed doing this series. Uh, I've learned a lot about myself, a lot about the rifle, a lot about the different ammunition that I've tried, and I've learned a lot from you guys. You guys have given me tips and instruction along the way, wanting me to make changes to what I'm doing. I couldn't make those changes halfway through the test. I couldn't do anything to the rifle. I wanted the rifle to be tested as it is out of the box. I couldn't apply none of those things halfway through the test and continue forward because it would it would be uh, it would cheat the ammo that I had tested previously. If I if I changed something on test number 5, then test 1 through 4 wouldn't have been valid. I wanted to keep everything the same, everything that I could. I know some things are out of my hands, but I wanted to keep everything that I could the same. So that's why I didn't take any of your tips and advice during the test. Of course, now now that I'm done with this series, you can bet I'll be taking some of your guys' advice. I'll be doing a lot of things differently. Uh, I've got some things we want to do to the rifle as well. But CCI standard velocity. We had one really good group there. 240, 240 thousandths of an inch. You can see all five shots in one hole pretty much. I wish they all looked like that. The rest of them were pretty junk. None of the other groups were MOA or less. They were all more than MOA. We got the worst group was .872. We had two that were over 800 thousandths of an inch. That's, that's pretty terrible. In fact, this ammo finished 10th place out of 10 tests that I've done. And I hate that because I wanted this ammo to do well simply because so many of you requested this ammo. For some reason, that rifle just didn't like it. And we got a lot of surprises throughout this test, throughout this series. So CCI is not going to make it into the final shoot-off. In the final shoot-off, we're going to have SK Standard Plus, which finished on top of the heap. And this stuff is a practice ammo. It's not a serious competition ammo. Uh, if you're a serious competition shooter, you've probably used this stuff to practice with, but you wouldn't think of taking it to a match. However, this rifle really likes it. My wife, the reason I say that, not only did I shoot the best with this ammo, my wife shot her best groups with this ammo. So this rifle, for whatever reason, really likes that SK Standard Plus. Second place was SK Pistol Match, a pistol ammunition. <laughs> Again, it, it just likes the SK ammo. Because third place is also an SK ammo. This is SK Flat Nose Match. Shot that ammo really well. So those are your three that are going to be in the final shoot-off. The following... I'll go ahead and go through all of these so you know what order they finished. In fourth place would have been the Ely Team Flat Nose. See, we had a really good group there. And you can go back and check any of these videos out. I've got videos up on each of these. And you can see the chronograph numbers along the way if you want to get standard deviations and, and that sort of thing. Uh, that's up to you. The numbers are there if you want them. But all these videos are in one playlist. I'll link it in the description if you want to, if you want to check them out. So fifth place was Wolf Match Extra. This uh, Wolf Match Extra come out of the Ely plant. This is the newer manufactured stuff. The older Wolf Match Extra 22 long rifle ammunition was made in the SK plant, uh, Lapua plant. So this come out of England. Fifth place. So sixth place. And the top five ammunitions, half of the ammunition that I tested, all of those were sub-MOA. They all performed five consecutive groups at five shots each at 50 yards, less than a half an inch. I thought that was pretty good for an out-of-the-box rifle in five consecutive five-shot groups. Uh, some of you guys may not realize how hard that is, but uh, others, others will understand, I'm sure. So sixth place. SK Long Range Match.
seventh place. This was a big surprise. This is Ely 10X, and this is a competition ammunition. This is one that you might take to a match, but this rifle just did not like it. Uh, don't know why. These 22s are peculiar like that. That's why you got to get out and test and see what they like. And for giggles, we tested Federal Champion Bulk. This was truly bulk pack. It was a 525 round bulk pack of ammunition. It shot it pretty well. Knife. Lapua Midas. This was another big surprise. This is very well respected ammunition. And Lapua, you know, SK is made in the Lapua plant, so you would think if it liked SK, it would also like Lapua. But it did not. This shot about the same as the Federal Bulk Pack high velocity hollow point stuff. So we saw a lot of strange phenomenon. Of course, again, 10th place. We got the CCI standard velocity. So we saw a lot of strange stuff. That's why I, that's why I enjoy doing these uh, doing these tests. The wind's really starting to pick up. It's been a couple hours since I shot. Uh, I went up and had lunch and measured that target and all that stuff. So the later we get into the evening, it seems like the more the wind is picking up here. But I know I've rambled on too long already. But I wanted to show you guys how this stacked up against the others. And let you guys know we'll be doing the shoot off next. Got some things I want to do first. I want to uh, do. I'll show you. I'll show you when we get to the shoot off video. I'm going to make some changes. I want to have a better. I've got. A, I've already got better stuff, but I just couldn't change it while I was in the middle of the series. I've got a better rest now. Uh, I've got some leather bags. I've got uh, got some stuff I'm going to do to the rifle. But you'll see all that when we get there. It, this time of year, it's hard to get a good calm day, but I want to get a really calm day and just see see how tight I can shoot those groups with those top three ammos. But that's all I've got for now, and I'll talk with you guys again soon.